Hi, thank you for viewing Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about spite. How does it work and how does it manifest in our lives? First of all, I like using real world examples where it's relevant to a lot of us on the planet. I had a friend and even though I'd never met him, he lived in a different area to me, so it was impossible to actually meet him. But we were conversing every night or two for months, helping each other out, talking about things in our lives, what interests we had, etc. We were just friends, okay? Then all of a sudden, he turned spiteful. I was in some of his Facebook groups, he was in some of mine. He not only took himself off my Facebook groups and unsubscribed from my YouTube channel, he also then went to that spitefulness where he banned me from the groups that he had as well. So did I deserve that spite? Let's look at some facts here. I did not abuse any members of his groups. I did not cause any intention of hurt or harm to anybody. I did not spam his pages. I actually added value to his pages where I was putting in content to support that group. So why did he ban me from that group when I did not breach any of the group rules and I also did not go against any community standards set by Facebook or YouTube. He had a personal issue. Now, regardless of what that issue is, because <clears throat> honestly, I walked away. I will not entertain that negative behavior. So let's look at what that spite has now caused. He's caused within me a deliberate act of retaliation. He has created a deliberate act to hurt me being in groups that I had as an interest or hobby. Is that fair? Is that right? Under universal laws, that is not right at all to be spiteful, to cause harm, to cause grief, to cause malice, to anyone else. So this person, I only wish that person light and love as always. I hope and pray that they get through whatever grudge or event that has happened in their past to make them like that now. So when someone is spiteful, the old cutting off your nose in spite of your face type scenario, or somebody who sells their house to spite their family and they move away to cause harm to their family or their friends. It's not just from what's happening now. They have actually created that negativity with them or within them from a past experience. So one thing that I do like talking about, guys, is that we have to go back and analyse the mistakes we've made in our past. Correct them. Go through them. Psychoanalyze ourselves and say, oh my God, did I hurt that person intentionally? Did I, at that time 20 years ago, did I act in a way that was deliberately out to hurt or harm somebody? Because this is how we grow. This is how we become angelic. This is how we get over any life lessons that we may have to learn in this life. So in this example, if this guy was to contact me again, I would be not saying, why did you do it? I would be asking him, what happened in your past to create it now? This is pure psychology. So when we look at things that we do now, because now is all that matters. The past cannot be changed. The future is unset. Everything happens within consciousness right now. 
So how do we align ourselves, which is our ultimately alignment of our soul? How do we get that solistic alignment back in place? We correct it now in the present. So if you have been spiteful in your past, where you've done something to intentionally hurt somebody, now is the time to correct that alignment. You could apologize to the person, but that takes guts. That takes a lot of open and rawness, firstly within yourself to accept that you've got that issue and then to go back to that person and to apologize. And then it's up to that person whether they um, accept your apology, correct? But the best way to do it is to not do it again. You say, okay, 20 years ago I did this thing. I hurt somebody. I've now discovered that I wasn't attributing to their life. I was certainly not attributing to my own life or making myself better. So I'm going to make that conscious decision right now in the present, in this conscious form that I exist in right now, to not do that behavior again. So we've got to be firm with ourselves. And we say it like a little prayer if you want to go religious. You say, you know what? I do forgive myself for why I did that back then. I didn't know any better. That person was retaliating against me for whatever was happening in their life. So I'm trying to understand what they were going through. But I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't want to be that person who deliberately brings down others anymore. I want to raise myself up and be better, healthier person. Now, when I say better, I'm not putting it out there that people are lower than us because we never compare ourselves to anybody else. But when we say, I personally want to be better than the person I was yesterday, it means that we are aligning ourselves, bringing ourselves up into a higher frequency where things like magic will occur in our lives. But don't do that deliberately. Don't just say it like an ultimatum. If I raise myself up and if I be good, I'm going to get brownie points in heaven because they see through that jargon straight away. They know you've got false intentions. So you've got to do it for the right reasons that you want to do it and want to improve yourself, okay? Because spite is a thing that a lot of people demonstrate. We do it a lot. You know, you're sitting behind someone in traffic and they'll rev their car. They might do an illegal U-turn and the first thing you do is retaliate to them. So you're deliberately causing them harm. You may swear at them. You may put the finger out to them. Don't be spiteful. Allow that person to do what they're doing. You don't know why their actions do that. And ultimately, their life is their own life to lead. The only person we've got to concentrate on is number one, yeah? Point to the most important person to you. You always point to yourself first, okay? So please remember, guys, when someone is spiteful to us, it's not something that they've just acquired now. It's from a past pain grief, trauma, something didn't go their way in the past where now they have to hurt, maim, kill others to get their satisfaction. So spite can be anything from just tripping someone over and laughing at them. Ha ha, look what I did to you. Or it could be to that extreme that I just mentioned, where it could be a criminal offence to hurt somebody. Either way, up there, heaven, which I call it home, when we go home, every single action we have to be accounted for. Every hurt, regardless of the severity, it could be a little thing, it could be a massive thing. We have to realign those instances and forgive ourselves for doing it. So if you do want to start growing to be more spiritual, to be a better person within yourself, 
Start forgiving yourself for why you did things in the past so you don't do it now to others or, most importantly, to yourself. We are always spiteful to ourselves. Let's just say you're trying to lose weight. Spitefulness could be that I'll just have that extra slice of cheesecake. Thank you. So you're spiting yourself. You're going against yourself. You're hurting that diet that you're trying to create within yourself. Okay? So contemplate. If you are having any negative thoughts for people out of spite, are you being spiteful to yourself? And start correcting it today. The only way that we can do it is by going into our past and saying, why did, when I, when I was spiteful to somebody or when I spited myself, did that make me feel good? And if the answer is yes, because most times it is yes, you've got to sit there and think, well, what happened in my past where I created that behavior, where negative emotions created that feeling of being good? Because negative behaviors are never good. There is no reward for being negative. There is no benefit or gain from hurting ourselves or others. So we forgive that person, like this example I've used, where this person took me out of these groups that I like being in because it was one of my interests and hobbies. So now I've gone out and I've searched another group very similar and I've joined that one so now I'm a benefit to them so I'm not going to let that person I will not allow that person to make me feel any less than who I am because I do not allow spite and grudges to come into my life because grudges are generally the same as spite Grudges is when something's happened in the past that we didn't agree with. So now we bring it into our present, our consciousness now. So we hold on to those grudges and we retaliate to people in our present, blaming the situations we're in now for what happened in our past. So look back into your life. Think about situations where you've got a grudge now. Why did that situation hurt you? Forgive it. Allow it. Because it was a learning curve. Because we do have life lessons. And those lessons do pop up every now and again out of the blue when we don't expect them. So see, to see how we react to it. And how we respond. Because reaction is with emotion. Responding is with logic resolution. So we go back over our past instances to when we formed those issues where we now are spiteful or we hold on to grudges. And we think about that time when we say to ourselves, you know what, I could only do what I was doing at that time. There was no other option. Those other people involved, there was no other option. Nothing can change. We cannot go back in time and change that. All I have the power to do right now today is to change how I'm going to react or respond in the future. Because that's how we align or reconfigure our soul purpose, our life path, our life contracts, and most of all, our life lessons. Because believe me, you guys, if we don't learn our lessons, we fail that exam and we have to come back and do it again. Some people, like Spite, they may go through 10,000 lifetimes just to pass how not to be spiteful. Do you really want to keep coming back to be a spiteful person to learn how not to be it in the future? 
let's try and learn it now. So it's ticked, you've been passed, and then in our next life, we can go on to something else that'll make us more enlightened. So I hope that that's helped you today, guys. Stay around, because more's coming. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.